Hello folks, uh, welcome to my channel again. So today we're going to talk about the mathematics of the, uh, the losing cycle. Um, the losing cycle is the inherent math when you are gambling. So when you're engaged in, in betting constantly for hours, this is what's going on mathematically. So let's say when you start a session, we call it round one, okay? So uh, when you start betting, basically you are incrementally, you are losing. I mean, obviously you're not winning constantly, right? There are, there are basically ups and downs. So basically you will realize some gains, some loss, some gains, some loss, some gains, some loss. But overall, you are on a losing cycle. So basically you're accumulating losses as you bet. You're not accumulating wins. Now, the reason you're doing that because you're anticipating somehow down the road, as you are winning, losing, winning, losing, somehow you're anticipating this big spike to come. Okay, so let's say you, uh, you realized this big spike eventually and it took your capital to 50% gain. But on the other hand, most likely what's going to happen is that you're going to face a 25% loss rather than 50% gain. So once this happens, 25% 25, 25 loss, even if you realize 50% gain, it doesn't matter, you're going to continue betting anyway. But if you have gained 50% spike, you're going to continue betting so, and, and you realize incremental loss. So again, you are facing incremental losses, okay, and then round two starts. So as you are accumulating losses, now your losses uh, is getting bigger, so we're going to move to the next curve. So you're, now you are playing with bigger incremental losses and you are continue betting in, in anticipation of a bigger spike. So as you have realized 25% loss, so now your loss is getting bigger. In this case, you might some, somewhere here, you will end up betting big or all in where basically you're going to lose it all. If you're lucky enough, you might gain another 20-25%. Um, but again, you're not going to stop there. You're going to continue. And let's suppose that you did realize a gain somewhere down here on the losing cycle. It took you up by 110%, but you're not going to stop there. You're going to continue betting. But in case if you had face 75% loss here on this losing cycle, then obviously you're going to go all in. You're going to lose them all. So for the argument's sake, let's say you gained 110%, so you're going to continue betting. Again, you're incrementally losing. So you are getting frustrated because you just gained 110%, but you want to continue betting and then that takes you, takes you to the next level of the losing cycle, round three. So let's suppose that you have gained somewhere here, down here, right? Somewhere here, you've gained 110%. That's more likely you are sitting on the peak right now. Since you continue betting, it took you to the round three. On round three, since you're playing with the peak, of the gain, now you're sitting on the peak, and, and due to your continuous betting, okay, you're incrementally losing again. As you are betting on the third round, obviously, you know, the luck doesn't strike twice or three times. You know, it, it, they do, but most likely won't. So basically, you might face some small incremental gains like maybe 20 25 percent but what's going to happen here is that you're you become more aggressive in betting so you're going to bet bigger and bigger and bigger 
So on this round, most likely, you're going to lose it all. That's minus 200%. So this is the mathematics of the losing cycle when you are betting. So I, I created this video to explain what is a losing cycle and what's going on when you are betting. So basically, it's not a winning system. It's a losing system. So you are, I mean, it's not a winning cycle. Okay, so inherently the math is constructed as a losing cycle when you are gambling. So you have to understand that you are riding a losing cycle in multiple levels. And what's going on is that you're just betting in a, in a very highly volatile fashion. So in, in, initially you might be betting here in a small volatility because you just started. And then you might realize some gains. And then you might think that, okay, well, I can bet bigger and you know, uh, benefit from the spikes. So you end up betting bigger, uh, uh, you know, in round two and, m uh, and much bigger in round three until you face a loss. Now, obviously, um, if you can get out somewhere here, that would be great, but, but that won't happen because when you're gambling, you know, any gains, you know, is considered as a redemption to your uh, risk taking and uh, you just continue betting more and more in order to in expectation to redeem much higher capital. So basically you would just go into a several layers of losing capital, uh, losing cycle until you lose them all. So uh, this is why um, it, 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 it's not, there, there's no point of playing this game, you know, uh, in the first place, guys. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's a losing cycle. That's what I'm trying to say that there's no point of um, writing this, you know, as a game of chance, uh, you better keep your money and enjoy it and do something else uh, rather than you know you engage in you know throwing it away um, due to this inherently mathematically um, losing cycle all right cheers guys i hope that you learn from uh, from this and if you have any questions you can add a remark on in, uh, in comments under under the video and uh, please uh, press the subscribe button and the like button so that we can produce more videos like this in the future peace